In recent years, there has been interest in out of distribution detection, or OODD, often with tight integration to deep learning. Out of distribution de detection is defined as detecting inputs that are impossible or unlikely under a target distribution. We believe that this is a necessary component to any complete machine learning application, especially in the medical domain. Just as a physician has training and experience that allows them to be comfortable making decisions, neural networks have similar limits. These limits are defined by the data that was used to train and evaluate the model. We would like to use out of distribution detection to limit what models process. We argue that the necessity of out of distribution detection is supported by two considerations. First of which is usability. As we transition machine learning tools from research labs to the hands of the end user, usability of these tools becomes pivotal to their success. One common characteristic of good usability is to fail gracefully when handling user errors. In ML-assisted diagnostic tools, this means equipping the tool with the capacity to reject predictions on erroneous input data, thereby by preventing the garbage-in, garbage-out scenario. For ML tools facing users outside of the computer science community, this clarity is particularly important. The second reason is the requirement for safety. In applications like ML-assisted diagnosis, the performance of a system is directly tied to the safety of the patients. A well-documented failure mode is when a predictor attempts to extrapolate on inputs outside of the distribution it has been trained on. Out of distribution provides a safety mechanism that prevents failures of the predictor from harming the user through inaccurate predictions. In this work, we benchmark out of distribution detection models on a large suite of medical image datasets to assess the current performance landscape. Our goal is to form a recommendation to practitioners on which methods to deploy. We enumerate three use cases of outer distribution examples. Use case one, inputs that are unrelated to the task. This includes obviously wrong inputs from a different domain. For example, an fMRI image given to an x-ray classifier or a cartoon image given to a natural image classifier. This also includes less obviously wrong inputs such as a wrist x-ray given to a chest x-ray classifier. For use case two, we look at inputs which are incorrectly prepared, such as a blurry image of a chest x-ray, having poor contrast, the wrong view position, or incorrect normalization. For use case three, we consider inputs that are unseen due to a selection bias in the training distribution. For example, images with an unseen disease, from an unseen demographic, uh, or with some artifact that is in only those images. We will use the first evaluation in our paper as an example. Here we consider the NIH chest x-ray data set. The data set has 14 labels per image. We train a model only on 10 labels, holding out four of them for use case three, which, which are correctly acquired, but now contain a pathology that doesn't exist in the training data. These out of distribution images are visually similar to the training images, but their ground truth labels do not exist in the in distribution data set. It is possible that the model could ignore these features and make correct predictions, but without being validated, we don't know for sure. So it is safer to reject these samples. The outer distribution detection method could be updated to include these images once a validation study was performed. For use case two, we use chest x-rays of different views taken from the pad chest dataset. The in-distribution NIH chest x-ray dataset consists entirely of images taken of standing patients back to front, known as the PA or posterior anterior view. We use chest x-rays taken either from the side, front to back, or of patients laying flat as our added distribution data for use case two. For use case one, we include data sets such as MNIST, CIFAR-10, and ImageNet, which are clearly from a different domain. We also include skeletal x-rays from the Mura data set, which are x-rays from other parts of the body. Here are some detailed results for the chest x-ray task. Use case one is at the top, and use case three is at the bottom. We report the performance of each method averaged across different data sets in that use case. For performance metrics, we look at accuracy and AUPRC. In terms of methods, our benchmark includes 22 variants of existing out of distribution detection methods. We include three types of methods which are color coded green, blue, and red. Under data only methods in green, we have k-nearest neighbor. 
They do not require any train network and operate solely on the data. Classifier-based methods in blue make use of the network trained for the downstream application. These methods are often convenient to deploy since they operate using only the representation of the existing network. And often, the forward pass can be used for the task prediction as well as the out-of-distribution determination. Auxiliary models in red do not use the downstream classifier. Instead, they require an independent model such as an autoencoder that is trained on in-distribution data. This results in extra setup time and resources. However, these models are independent and can be more general as they do not make assumptions about the labels of the in-distribution data. Here are the detailed results for histology segmentation. We don't have a use case 3 here because popular tasks are only binary. For use case 2, we use breast tissue instead of lymph node tissue, as well as tissue stained with other dyes. Use case 1 here includes images of blood droplets. Here are the detailed results with fundus imaging for diabetic retinopathy. For use case 3, we use images with glaucoma, which is a disease not present in the DR images. For use case 2, we use the DRIMDB dataset, which is specifically designed for quality testing. It is composed of images acquired using the correct camera, but of the wrong thing or out of focus. We also study the time performance trade-off of these methods and find that the binary classifier is fast and achieves the best performance. In terms of contributions for this work, we provide an operational definition of atom distribution detection in the medical image analysis space. Our benchmark establishes a baseline for evaluating future atom distribution detection methods on medical images. To conclude, we find that binary classifiers perform the best among all our tested methods. Also, we find that our ranking of methods is almost the opposite reported by Sheffy in 2018. We use the same code, but their analysis was on natural images. Our extensive hyperparameter search suggests that this discrepancy is in fact due to the data and tasks in the medical setting. We caution practitioners that employ out of distribution detection methods that images very close to the training distribution, but not in it, may not be detected and could cause a model to produce unexpected results. Finally, our work highlights the need for further research on detecting these types of out-of-distribution data. Please see our archive paper for more details.